Hello, I'm Izzy and today we're going to be talking about long names that have a lot of cool and adorable nickname options. So before we begin, if you like names, make sure to subscribe for new name videos every Friday. So I'm going to do this in two parts. I'm going to do 20 girl names today and then 20 boy names uh, in another part next week. These names you might have heard before, a few of those in the girl, well, it's maybe half and half. Half are ranked in the top 1000, half are not. But even if the name is a bit more common, then that's the beauty of having a nickname that could be less common and that could be sort of like more edgy. So this is kind of like the point of this video. So the first name is Evangeline. And then I tried to find nicknames and I really like worked hard to, I looked at, I stared at these names and I was like, okay, what could work? Obvious ones for Evangeline, you have Evie, Ev, Evie. And then I thought angel could work because if you look at Evangeline, you have the word angel right in there. And Evan for a more tomboy option. I love Evan for a girl. Um, I love tomboyish names in general for girls. Angie could work. If you have angel, why not Angie? And then, or you could have Eve as well. The next is Emiliana. Emiliana is a beautiful name. I love it. It is not in the top 1000 um, and you can have obvious nicknames such as Emmy, but you could also go with the middle. That's my favorite thing to do is just look at a name and then look at the middle part and try to find a sort of like extract a sort of like a nickname from there. So what I extracted from Emiliana was Millie, Lily, Mila, and Emma. I think my favorite one of those is Millie, but um, I added in Emma. Emma is, it's not clear if it's actually a name or not. It kind of like came from my head. That's because I loved the name uh, Emmy for a girl, which is a girl's name. But then if you see it spelled like that, you would pronounce it Amy. So I thought of a way um, that we could just read it and know that it's pronounced Emmy. So I came up with that. Next we have Genevieve, also quite popular at number 168. You have the classic uh, Jenny Ginny. But then you could also have Nevi, which I'm in love with. Nevi, Nev, Neve, even. You could spell it either N E V E or the Irish way, since it's a, an, an Irish name originally. You could have Vivi, Viva, or Vivi, or V. And V, spelled V I E in French, means life. So that's a beautiful meaning for a possibly beautiful nickname for Genevieve. Uh, next is Jacoba. So I heard this name because of the actress Kobe Smulders. Um, so Kobe is obviously one of the nicknames on there. I love it ever since I heard it. It's so cool and I had never heard it before. You could also have Jack, uh, Jackie obviously, and then Koba or Kobe. Why not? Um, next is Amalinda. So you could have nicknames such as Amy, Melly, Linda, Ali. Mel or Linny. I think my favorites are Melly and Linny for sure. Um, Amalinda is a name you don't hear that often. It's a long name. There's many nickname options. So that's always good if you love that recipe for names, you know, long name, nickname. Next is Thomasina. So Thomasina I found while doing research for one of my other videos about the name Tamsin. So uh, Tamsin is basically the short form of Thomasina. So it could be a nickname for Thomasina. Um, you could also have Macy, um, Tommy, Tammy, Tamsin, or Cena. I think my favorites from this are, uh, I kind of like them all. Uh, maybe Macy, Tommy, Tammy, Tamsin, Cena, all of them. <laughs> uh, next is Eleonora. So Eleonora, I found nicknames such as um, Elena or Elena, depending on how you want to pronounce it, Lenny, Nora, um, L, and Lenore. So Lenore, if you are um, a fan of Edgar Allan Poe, is it the one who wrote the, the poem about Lenore? I really hope so, because I don't want to stop and research right now. The nickname is super popular, but then again, if you have, if you want to use it because it's a family name or you just love it and you don't care that it's popular, uh, it's Penelope. You can have obviously the classics uh, such as Penny or Poppy, but then you can also have Nellie, which I love. You could have Pen, which is traditionally a boy's name, but could really work as a more of a tomboy option, uh, or even Opie. 
Next is Aurelia. Aurelia is rising in popularity. I love this name. It's at number 644. I love it even more with the Spanish um, pronunciation Aurelia, but with the um, English pronunciation Aurelia, you would have a uh, nickname such as Ray, Rayleigh, Leah, Rel, um, or Aura, or Aura, if you go with the um, Spanish pronunciation. Aurelia, Aura. Okay, next is Vivian. So Vivian, spelled like this, is at number 96, so quite popular, but Vivian, with uh, A N and E at the end, is not ranked in the top 1000. You can have nicknames for both Vivian and Vivian, um, such as Via, Annie, Vivia, Vivi, V, or Anna. My favorite is definitely Annie. I love the nickname Annie. I've talked about it before. I'm a fan for boy, girl. I love it. Next is Octavia at number 371. Octavia, which wasn't on the charts for a long time. And then I guess because of the show, uh, The 100, it sort of popped up. Again, that's where I heard it for the first time. That's where I fell in love with it. I didn't hear it for the first time there, but that's where I fell in love with it. Um, and then you could have sort of tomboy nicknames such as Tave or Tavy. This is what I would go for if my name were Octavia. Um, or you can have also Tavia. You can have Ave, Ava or Avi. I love Avi. And you can even have, this is a little bit more like far-fetched, but you can have Oz or Ozzy. Next is Serafina. Serafina is not in the top 1000. Um, it's gorgeous. I heard it not too long ago. And you can have nicknames such as Sarah, spelled like this, or Finn for a more tomboy option. A Moi, I said Moi. For a more um, tomboy option, you can have Finn, Raph, Raffi, Pina, or even Serena. My favorite, I think, would be Raffi or Finn. Next is Emelina. So Emelina, you have the classic Emmy, which I love. It's so, so, I love names like this, like Emmy, Callie, Ellie, Effie. I love those names. Um, you can have Emmy, Emma, Mally, Malina, Mal, Lena, or Lee. Um, I think, again, my favorite would be maybe Mally. Uh, I love Malina as well. Next is Teresa or Theresa. So um, I guess the most popular option of these two spelling is Teresa without the H. It is actually at number 801. In French, we would spell this name with an H, Theresa. And then if you spell it with an H, you could have nicknames such as Thea, Tess, Reese, Tara. And then if you go without the H, instead of Thea, you could go with Thea. Next at number 97 in the charts, we have the name Madeline. The classic nickname for that name is Maddie, but then you can have, if you extract from the middle like I like to do, you can have Del, which I love. Del I heard for the first time in a short story, I think, by Margaret Atwood. And the character was named Del, and I thought that was so awesome. And now every name that I could get the nickname Del out of, I just get it out. So Del, Laney, Deli, or Lena. Next we have Anastasia at number 150. I thought of nicknames such as Taz. How cool is Taz? Um, Taz, Stacy, Tasia, Taze, Tazy, or Annie again. The next name is not as long as the other ones, but I just love it so much. I love it so much my life is turning into a musical. Uh, so Winifred, you have the classic Winnie, of course, but then Fred or Freddie for a girl, I can't express how much I love this idea. Um, I heard the name Winifred or Fred uh, in Angel the Series, which is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer spinoff, and the Winifred in the show goes by Fred. Next is Isadora. I was sure this name was going to be super popular, and then it's not even in the top 1000. Since Isabel, Isabella are super popular, why not go for Isadora? You can have nicknames, the classic nicknames such as Izzy. You can have um, Adora, Sadie, Zaid, Aura, spelled either O-R-A or A-U-R-A as well. We have Josephine, which is super popular at number 89. Uh, you have the classics Josie, Joss. I don't know if Joss is a classic, but Josie is as, at least. You have the tomboy option, Joey like in the series uh, Dawson's Creek. Wasn't there a character there named Joey? I think her full name was Josephine. 
but then you also could have Zephy, you could have Pina, you could have Finny or Finn, and my favorite Effie. And then the last one is Adriana at number 250. The people I know with that name, they have the nickname Adri, but there are so many other options. There's Adria, there's Rhea, which I talked about um, in my nautical name video, so it has sort of a, a nautical connotation as well. We have Brianna, why not? Dre and 80, which could sound like the number 80, but it could work as well. So that is it for my list. Um, I don't know, tell me how you feel about long names with nicknames. Would you rather just have like the given name and then go by that name or would you rather have a longer given name and then go by a nickname? Um, for me, it was sort of really strange when I first found out about this, this thing because I grew up in a francophone world where uh, the name that your parents give you is just a, the name that you go by. Close friends or your parents might call you a nickname, but you would never go like to a job interview and say like, if your name is Nicholas, you wouldn't say my name is Nick. You would say my name is Nicholas. So I didn't really understand it at first. And then it really grew on me. And now I'm totally in love with having sort of a, a longer given name and just the person going by a nickname. So I hope you liked these nicknames. I hope that it gave you new ideas, fresh nickname ideas for names that you probably already knew. Let me know if you have a long name and what you go by. All right, see ya. That you might not think of like, uh, uh, <laughs> this is me trying to speak. Uh, um, hold on.